Hey there, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Just wanted to do a quick midday video lesson. Um, this happened to be spiking while I'm about to be doing this. Called this from the morning. I saw it gapping up a little bit. Saw it as a bounce play. Pick a whole VWAP. Got this solid, um, huge gap up that it had, and it ran a little bit in the morning. Then it started failing, and yesterday set in a solid red day with a solid red candle as well and then ends up reversing here gapping up nicely i thought it could get to one here we are low 90s um you know solid trade whether you got it around the open price or reclaiming vwap here or even the high at daybreak and trading it like a multi-day bounce over 85 you're now up 10 percent so Unfortunately, I met, missed that one now. Um, I was, I've been a little emotional today. I uh, woke up and totally missed my main play of the day, and that kind of threw me off. My plan was to get it in the very low threes and sell into the fours. Mapped it out yesterday in a video lesson. Um, did end up holding a bit and taking off for a solid 20% or so. But I, if they're up, gapping up big, I usually would like them to fade and then possibly reverse. Um, to me, in my eyes, this this is the squeeze. This is the move I was waiting for. I'm not going to try to force something just because I want it to work. Um, sucks that it happened. It was a nice move. Uh, ran more than I expected. Get into the high fours. I thought you know four to mid fours might be good, but hey, it happens. Um, fortunately for me, I ended up getting agri. I did not actually. I don't think I alerted this one. I caught this one a little later. I was looking at a bunch of other things, and then this came across my scanner, and I instantly was trying to get in as it was reclaiming VWAP, and it held the open price, so. This is a parabolic play. I only took it from 233 to 283. Um, thought it could get to 3. Didn't want to wait around for that. Just took a quick 21.5%. But as you can see, completely failed to break down. Volume keeps coming in. Shorts that thought this is going to fail. Get squeezed. Keeps holding trend again. And you get another rip from buyer's getting the high day break here shorts covering into the high day break here once you get the confirmation that it's not that this little perk isn't really going to be a fake out it really takes off and gets aggressive and now it looks like we're just fading over and done with with this going to be waiting for a multi-day bounce after it sets a red day now that's going to be on watch for probably next week since today's thursday um See what this one's doing now. 94 and a half. Yeah. Okay. And it's still holding up. This fails to break down. It could easily climb to one and pass that. So that's that's crappy. But, you know, between missing ENSV and leaving so much on the table here, kind of got into my head a bit and, you know, missing out on solid plays like RKDA. Didn't keep an eye out for this. Got a solid breakout over 165 ish. Um, you get this view op hold that pushes it to 165 to the breakout level. You get this double bottom failure to break down. Starts grinding back. Volume starts coming in. And that's the recipe. This one is a little choppy, but as it keeps holding trend. Could have sold for 20 cents, 30 cents. Could have taken your quick 10% and taken your quick 17 cents. Um, so that's another play. And this one is a sympathy play to Agri. So makes it even more important that I missed it. Uh, but yeah, so this morning some solid plays. 
uh, some things gapping up. The energy sector was gapping up today, but it looks like momentum has kind of died. You got HUSA, ENSV, as I showed. Uh, ch 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 Pola, I mean, sorry, Indo. Had a solid move, trying to test 50. Um, besides that, yeah, they're just kind of fading. CEI here, decent 10% or so gap up and just fading now. And volume is weakening as well. So we'll see if these things could possibly reverse. But like I said in uh, last night's video lesson, I made one specifically about multi-day bounces. First move is usually the best. Maybe in the bigger picture, this wasn't going to be the first move. This is just some bottoming action and then it bounces. I don't know. But based off the energy in the energy sector, seems like things are just kind of fading for now. They are holding up, but we'll just see when serious volume comes back and they start reversing and holding VWAP. Uh, la, 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 la. What else is there? This one's still grinding up, waiting for the breakout of all-time highs. So yeah, there's just a quick little rundown of the day. I, let me go through PT real quick. Um, this was one that I had on watch for potential open price and VWAP reclaim. Just was too quick. I usually like there, for there to be some consolidation, uh, especially when they gap up. You want shorts to get sucked in and then you want it to fail to break down. Literally just like Agri. Beautiful open price and VWAP reclaim. Or you could have played it as a pre-market high break which now in hindsight is kind of what I was doing here um, considering I was kind of chasing if I was buying it in the from the 216s here so 233 was definitely here a pre market high break slow grind you get the volume continually coming in and then you get the short squeeze but this is key right here how it consolidated failed to break down held to a key level uh, psychologically whole and half dollar levels are just where people kind of use this point of reference to sell and buy so um, here we get this solid double bottom failure to break down volume starts increasing it starts grinding back reclaims open price and VWAP and from there it's just a slow grind until shorts really get squeezed and that's the perfect setup for various patterns. You got the open price and VWAP reclaim that I always talk about. And then you got the pre-market high break, which is pretty similar. It's just buying a little bit higher, waiting for the pre-market high to be broken compared to buying it around the open price or VWAP, which is sometimes lower than the pre-market high. So whichever way you look at this, serious volume was coming in. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a lower flow, 12 million, yeah, and it was doing some good volume compared to usual. As you can see, not much volume going on here. Clear resistance above. Um, who knows if this thing could get back to the sevens and use that as resistance. That's the last time I had some serious volume. But for now, I'm just this is just a waiting game to see how much higher it goes. And to wait for the um, backside to come in and then get the multi-day bounce so yeah maybe I'll make another video lesson later on but just want to update midday kind of some of the plays that were happening uh, I didn't nail a bunch didn't emphasize today as much as I could have considering how much my play took off um, but yeah so should have been more patient, or rather, maybe just size up more and still take my quick gains. That might have satisfied me, just making a little bit more. But regardless, it was a solid play. 21% is not bad at all. So, yeah. And then we have IMPP. I don't know if I went over this one. Another gapper. I talked about how some of these could have been some overnight plays if they held up. But not enough volume to really squeeze. So we'll see if they can hold up in reverse. But 
right now it's looking that like they might just keep going lower. So we'll just wait and react to what happens. And yeah, don't want to start rambling too much. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see what Cal is doing. This is a break. Okay, beautiful. This is. This might be a play that I tr end up trading. We got a 155 break. I was looking at this as a potential VWAP play to test the breakout level, which is exactly what's happening here. Uh, the volume is kind of coming in, not compared to the float, but relative to what it was doing here, about half of what it was doing. And it's only 1 o'clock Eastern time here. So still got some time to really bring in some serious volume and squeeze Probably to two is what I would expect. Look two low twos here. I think Kala could be a very nice play. It is not in the um, hot sector of the day, but nonetheless a breakout. So if volume comes in, this fails to break down around the one fifties, one sixties. This could really be similar to RKDA. Kind of if we take a look here, you had that VWAP push that took it to the breakout level consolidates shorts fail to take it down more people buying the breakout come in as well when they see that it fails to break down and they're holding it up and then you get the solid squeeze so Kala might act the same we'll see what happens but yeah this is looking very nice actually so i'll leave you guys with that um like subscribe follow us on twitter uh, pack a punch traders um yeah so hopefully i'll make another video lesson later if there's any other plays see how kala turns out but for now solid morning some decent opportunities just looking for the failure for plays that are up to break down shorts get squeezed after that if volume continues to come in and it uptrends so that's that have a great rest of the trading day, and I'll make another video lesson later.